Welcome everyone, here is how you lock apps on your iPhone. You can see here, I must enter in a pin in order to open up YouTube. If I enter in the wrong pin, guess what? Incorrect pin, I'm not gaining access. However, now I'm going to try and open up the app. I'm going to enter in the correct pin. And boom, we have gained access to the application. This is such a cool method. Make sure you watch the full thing. Uh, this is not a bulletproof solution, but it's really good. Most people will find this perfect for their needs. Let's get right into it. We're going to open up the Shortcuts app. If you don't have this app, it is free from the App Store, but it comes built into your iPhone. From here, you're going to tap on Shortcuts. You're then going to find where it says All Shortcuts. Then you're going to tap on the plus, the top right hand side of the screen, to create a new shortcut. You're going to see this little arrow here. Tap on the arrow. You're then going to tap on rename and you're going to rename this shortcut to the app you would like to lock. So in my case, I want to lock YouTube. So I'm going to name this to YouTube. Next, you're going to find where it says add action. Tap on this one. And then you're going to tap on search and you're going to search up for ask for input. OK, once you see this, tap on this one. So now if you would like to lock an app with a password, you know, like say Fortnite, one, two, three, something like that. Keep this as text. But if you would like a pin, tap on text, select number. Now it says ask for number with and then the prompt. So you can set this here to say pin or to say password, okay? To test what you've done, just tap on the play here. And so right now we have this prompt, it says pin, and then we need to enter in a pin. Okay, now we're going to tap on the search at the bottom and we're going to find where it says if, you should see scripting, if, tap on this one, so it should do things for you if provided input and then condition. So we're going to select is and then we're going to type in the number. So in my case, I'm going to use one, two, three, four. And then I'll tap on done. And then I'll tap on the search. Search for open app. Tap on this one and then you're going to see open, tap on the app name and then search for the app you would like to open. So tap on the tick. Then we see otherwise, we're going to tap on the search again. We're going to search for alert and then you're going to see show alert. Tap on this one. Now this alert is not in the right spot. So we're going to drag and drop this. So the alert is below otherwise. And so from here, we're going to change this alert to incorrect password or pin. So I'm going to use incorrect pin in my case. If you use the password, select incorrect password. Tap on the arrow here. And if you want the cancel button, you can have that on. But I'm just going to remove the cancel button. So now let's do a quick test before we add this to our home screen. So I enter in the pin 8888, that's incorrect. And you can see it says incorrect pin and then nothing happens. Now, when I run this, I use the correct pin 1234 and the YouTube app opens up. Okay, so we've done that correctly. Now, how do we add this to our home screen? So the next step is you're gonna tap on the share icon. From here, you're gonna find where it says add to home screen you're going to see home screen name and icon. So let's change the icon here. So we're going to tap on the icon, choose photo and uh, well, okay. So we want the YouTube icon or your custom app icon, but it's not going to show magically on your device. So in order to get a custom app icon, let's go to Safari, search up the app name and an icon iPhone, tap into images, and you just want to find an image which looks like the YouTube icon. Long press, add to photos. 
Of course, if the image is for a different app, then make sure you use that app, okay? Don't use the YouTube icon or every app you're allowed to lock. Then we'll tap again, choose photo, we'll select the icon, choose, and then we'll tap on add. So before you end and you're like, we're done, we're not done. Because right now, if we use this locked version of YouTube, it's gonna ask for the pin. And if we don't enter in the pin correctly, it's going to deny us access. But take a look at this. If we use the regular app, it's gonna open. So we need to correct that, okay? Find the application which opens up normally, okay? Long press on this one, tap on remove app. Don't delete the app, okay? Just select remove from home screen. Next, we're gonna open up the settings app. From here, we're gonna find where it says Siri and search. You're then going to find the application in question. So in my case, it's YouTube. Just find YouTube, there'll only be one. And then you're gonna see show app in search, turn this one off and then turn off all of these suggestions right here. So what we have done is we've removed the unlock YouTube app from our home screen. And if we search up for YouTube, the only YouTube we're gonna find is the locked version of YouTube, okay? So we have completely hidden the YouTube app from our device, right? Not only have we hidden the YouTube app from our device, the only version that we can use is now the locked one, okay? So when we tap on the locked one, it's gonna ask for the pin. And if you don't enter in that pin correctly, you're not getting, uh, getting into your app, all right? So let's enter in the pin correctly this time. So this is the pin. And boom, we have access straight into the application. The advantage of this is, I mean, look, I open up the app and, you know, if I don't add in that pin, I'm not opening up the app in question. The disadvantage is if someone is a tech nerd, they could technically bypass this, okay? So right now in the multitasking, this application, we can open it up and it won't lock, right? The solution would be every time you're done with the app in question, okay? So let's do this like so. Once you've opened up the app, once you're done with it, you just close it out with the multitasking. And now if it's not on the multitasking, they cannot open it up. The next thing is if the person you're locking the app from is a tech nerd, they could get around this block, okay? How? Because you can still access the app without the passcode if you slide all the way left and then go to the app library here. <laughs> but are they gonna see the YouTube app right away? No, it's hidden under entertainment. Then you have to tap on this, tap into YouTube. And of course, the same will apply for other apps. Most people won't figure this out. I had an issue earlier where YouTube stayed in suggestions. If that happens, make sure you just turn on and off these toggles again because you do not want the YouTube app right here because then someone's going to find it right away. But I mean, right now, could you find it? I mean, maybe if you knew exactly where to look, you could. But for most people, this is bulletproof and this is incredibly cool. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.